What is up my bodyweight warriors? Good morning, welcome back. As said in the last video, we are starting the morning off with 20 to 30 minutes just walking outside of nature, getting some low level activity in, a bit of cardio, just to give way to start the day. Uh. Let's make some food. Broth life is back. We've got sardines, chicken broth, a couple of raw eggs in there, and a whole bunch of veggies in like a Thai spiced soup. If you've been following for a while, you probably recognize this dish, and there's gonna be some more to come over winter. But something that will change in today's day of eating is I'm gonna be consuming more protein. The reason for this is that I visited a friend the other week in London, and I spoke to a man called Ryan Carter, who I've known for a couple of years now, I think, on. Instagram, LiveVite is his handle. I'll link it down below. He's really on point with food. He knows his stuff. And based on some conversations with him just as I was having that weekend, he suggested maybe I should eat more protein based on my current goals of gaining a bit of mass, my body size, and also my metabolic type, which is protein polar. So generally higher protein, higher fat, a little bit lower carb suits me best, which I've known for the past couple of years now. Then last week when I was on my course with the Czech Institute, I was speaking to the instructor there, and I was just chatting to him about nutrition. And I said, yeah, the last sort of six months, I feel like I've been craving sweet stuff more. And he said, if you're a polar type, if you're a protein type, if you're craving sweet stuff, the likelihood is you're under eating protein. So two knowledgeable people in the last two weeks mentioned that to me. So definitely look at bumping up my protein and see what happens. I've been doing it for the last few days. I've been shooting for 25% of my calories coming from protein, which is about 200 grams ish. And I have to say, I feel a lot more satiated, a lot more full, and I haven't had the sweet cravings. I don't know if that's a mental thing or if that is the food, but I thought I would share that with you. So, it's been doing some work outside, but delivery just arrived. All of this. It kind of is the same um, standard as reverse osmosis, so it removes like 99% of stuff in the water. I have been thinking about buying one for two years now, but I just haven't had the money. And it is replacing one of these, which is a Brita filter. So this is filters out maybe like 20, 30% of stuff. That is near enough 100. It's 98 to 99% of most things. Today has just been one of those days where I've got several programs to do because people are finishing cycles and I'm also doing some graphic design work for somebody, but there's worse places to work. Um, however, it is now three o'clock. I'm gonna grab a pre-workout meal. As I said, a little bit higher protein. This will also have some carbs in as I want some before training. I baked some sourdough yesterday, which is here, and I'm gonna have some avocado and chicken on it. So in the end, I just left the toast with guacamole on top and some drizzle with balsamic vinegar. And then on the side for the protein, 100-ish grams of chicken with some feta cheese and olive oil just mixed up together. Macros are on the screen and it kind of brings the day to a good amount of calories and feel pumped to train. So now I'm actually gonna do a little bit of mobility work, although it's not really for me, I'm slowly building up an exercise library of exercises that I like to use and how I like to do them. I mainly use these with clients when I do programs. I'll throw some highlights in anyway because I've got a film on the camera that I'm currently filming this on. So feel free to try a couple of these out and see how they work for you. So we're gonna tuck up, dragging our feet, and then we're gonna walk them back out. And then we're also gonna use our hip flexors to pull ourselves deeper. So pulling in, so maintain that neutral spine, kind of lift it up and extend. Trying to keep those three points of contact on the head, the middle back and the base of your spine. So it is now five o'clock. I'm just finishing up, rendering up the videos, uploading them and should be done in about five minutes, but we should go grab a pre-workout, which is the usual BCAs, glutamine, etc., And I'll link or put the recipe in the description down below. And then we're gonna go train in about 15 minutes. Got the shake is a leg day today. 
uh, a little bit more explosive doing some Olympic lifting and then mobility standard stuff afterwards. Not body weight, but still an awesome workout today. I started off with 10 to 15 minutes of just practicing technique for the clean. I chose a weight that wasn't super heavy and I was just focusing on improving my triple extension, improving the synchronization of my clean and really just trying to get that skill down. I then followed that up with some working sets. I was doing six to eight reps on the front squat. Again, jumping back into weight leg training, it's not super heavy. I'm not overly strong on my legs, but it's something I'm looking to work on and build up. Um, and then in between these sets, I was just balancing on the bar. It's kind of a fun little test just to keep your resting a little bit more playful. Uh, and then I was pairing those front squats with some straight leg deadlifts. So keeping about a 20 degree bend in the knee, and this is gonna strengthen the hamstring and the glutes. If you have tight hamstrings, Often that can be because your hamstrings are weak and it's protective. So doing something like a straight leg deadlift can actually really help improve your mobility. Then I went on to some calf work. Calves, as I've probably said before, is a weak point for me. So I was just doing some standing calf raises. Uh, I was holding a kettlebell because I like to try and incorporate some sort of balance into it um, and try to like just avoid resting on a bar. And then I was supersetting these standing weighted ones with some squat ankle raises. And this is gonna look more at the soleus and then also hopefully develop more of an arch in my foot because I'm a little bit flat-footed on my left side due to an ankle injury in the past. Then I haven't really done any middle split mobility for three or four weeks now. So this is the first session back. You can see how bad the tailor pose was to begin with. But following a couple of sets of some weights tailor pose, it was pretty much to the floor, which is about where I need to be and I was pairing those tailor poses with a bent leg hip flexor stretch, but also including a back bend. Um, I'm trying to improve my back bend ability and my spinal mobility. So this is kind of one of the exercises I'm focusing on at the moment. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more bridge work in the future, just because I feel that I haven't done it for a while and it's something I need to improve on to then hopefully help out with hand balancing and the like. Then finally moving on to the middle splits itself, as I said, first time in three to four weeks. I didn't go with any PNF um, really. I kind of just slid down, kind of see where it was at, how it felt like, and then doing some short PNF while I was down there. That was the first set you just saw. And then on the final set, I decided to do the pissing dog exercise from my middle split uh, PNF sort of routine. And I slid on down, and it was actually probably one of the best middle splits I've had in a long time. I was maybe three to five centimeters off full middle splits here. And I think I could have gone lower if I had just pushed it. Um, I don't know why I didn't. And then just for fun, I kind of wanted to see where my pancake was at. Uh, again, this is a move I don't train, but because of all the other mobility work I do, the, it just stays roughly where it is. And that is the workout. Oh, that was uh, different. So post-workout, got a shake of some kind. It's just got banana, frozen berries, and some protein powder. I've got some vegan protein powder at the moment. It's like pea, brown rice, hemp. It's, mm, it's okay. I like to try and mix it up a bit, but it's a little bit grainy. It was a pretty good session. I haven't actually trained splits for three or four weeks like properly. I've just done bits here and there. Um, so I was quite surprised today that I probably got close to my best ever with side splits. Pretty damn low. Um, and then pancake felt really good as well, which again, I just haven't trained. So weird post-workout shake, some sugar, some carbs, and then gonna have a big meal in about an hour. Oh, the ring, the final meal of the day is a lamb Rogan Josh. I cooked like a kilo and a half of lamb shoulder yesterday. 
and it will last like probably three or four days, depending on how many people in my family eat it. Super easy final meal. And macros are also pretty good, but probably quite high in fat. All in all, macros for the end of the day were pretty much right, about 190 grams of protein, which is a little bit less than I'd wanted, but pretty bang on. I feel very satiated. I definitely haven't had any cravings. I don't know if that's a mental thing or if that just is helping. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Just leave a comment down below, let me know. But all in all, good day, feeling stronger. Things are getting a little bit more exciting in the gym, which is nice after like four months of pretty chilled out training. But that is it for this week, guys. You know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you have any questions about today's episode, leave a comment down below. While you're there, you can also snag yourself a Bodyweight Warrior t-shirt and support the channel. But that is it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace. Die.